What is up guys, it is the Nay here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be upgrading the setup with a new mouse pad, a keyboard, and some keycaps. I'm always looking for some new keyboards and mouse pads to add to the setup because it's a great way to freshen up any desk and add some personality. Now, I have been dying to do a black and white theme for quite some time on my desk. There's just something about it that looks awesome and I've been wanting to do it for so long. Now, Alfuria Key sent over a box of goodies for us to test out, so we're gonna unbox and install all of them in the setup today. In our box, we have one keyboard, one mouse pad and two sets of keycaps to choose from. And can we also take a second and appreciate how beautiful the packaging is with Alfuria Keys. I am a sucker for good packaging and the attention to detail is just awesome. Let's check out the new keyboard first. So my current keyboard is the TKL Mono with silver kale switches. I've been using it for around three months now and it's been great. I'll make sure to do a sound test later to compare both keyboards and switches so you can see how different they sound. The new keyboard is the Sector V2 65%. It has hot swappable switches, comes with pre-installed keycaps and per key backlighting. It can also be used wired or in Bluetooth mode. It claims to get around eight hours of battery life, but I'm assuming that's with RGB lighting on. We'll have to find out later and test that out. Now I decided to try out kale pink switches this time because I've never really used clicky switches before and I wanted to see how I like them. There was also an extra set of putting keycaps in the box. We'll check those out later, but I really like the pre-installed Sector V2 set. It has a cool black and white design on the space bar. Definitely gives off those futuristic vibes I'm going for in my setup. Now last in our box is the matching Sector V2 mouse pad. Now I love this mouse pad so much. The design is so unique and paired with the Sector V2 keyboard, it is beautiful. I'm currently using this Boba T mouse pad that I picked up last month for my setup and it's super cute. It has a little cow in the top right corner and a Boba T drink down in the bottom. Now the funny thing about this mouse pad is my friend Justice actually showed me it and it's the only thing that I've ever bought instantly out of all the random cool things that he's tried to get me to buy. So I'm sure he's pretty happy that I actually bought something. So if you guys are interested in that this mouse pad, I'll also make sure to leave it in the bio for you guys. Now let's take a closer look at the keyboard and check out the build quality. The pre-installed keycaps are PBT, so they should be pretty durable. As mentioned earlier, this keyboard does have hot swappable switches, so if you wanted to remove them and swap them out later in the future, you can do that. The chassis is made from plastic. There's no metal on this keyboard, but with having a fairly small footprint, it's rigid enough to not feel any flex in it. Overall, build quality is pretty good. Now here's a quick look at what the keyboard looks like with the putting it keycap. Which set do you guys prefer, the Pudding or the Sector V2 set? Let me know in the comments down below. I feel like you get better RGB effect with the Pudding keycaps, but I also really like the black and white futuristic set that comes with it. Now time for the fun part, setting everything up in the setup. Cue the B-roll. All right guys, everything is set up in the desk. The only thing I need to do is plug in my Razer keyboard to my PC, but that's it. Everything else looks awesome. So my first impressions, absolutely love it. Love the black and white theme. I love the mouse pad. The keyboard looks awesome. It matches so well with all my new white stuff that I added into my setup. I picked up these speakers last week. They look awesome, love them, got them off Amazon. I'm also getting a new chair from Alienware. They're sending over their white chair. And then I have a few other things that's going in my setup that are white so that it can match the whole theme. Now also our next video is going to be on this little mini PC display to have all your temps. So come back for that video. But I think it's time to do some sound tests on the keyboard. Let's go do it. Huge sound difference, right? I've never owned clicky switches before. Although they're super satisfying to listen to, I'd probably advise not getting them because if it's gonna be your main keyboard, it's pretty loud and during gaming, when you're talking to your friends on Discord, they'll probably hear you. But that shouldn't be a problem because as I mentioned earlier in the video, this keyboard is hot swappable and you can change out the switches if you wanted to at a later date. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We are going to be adding more keyboard videos over time to our channel because it's a hobby that I am really big into. I own a lot of keyboards. I collect a lot of artisan keycaps. I have a lot of custom desk mats that I collect. 
you know, it's just something that I want to bring to our channel that I think a lot of people would enjoy as well as I would. So going forward, if there's anything that you guys saw in today's video from Alfieri Keys that you wanted to pick up, we do have a 10% off code down in the description under Tech Tesseract, which will get you 10% off of your order and save you some money. Also make sure to come back this week because our next video is going to be on this mini display screen that you see here. So if you saw in the video, I had a screen on my desk that displayed all my stats for my PC and I picked this up recently off of Amazon and I wanted to do a video or a tutorial on how to set it up and how you can put that into your own gaming setup. So that's going to be our next video and uh, if you want to see that, make sure you come back for that video. We also have a Discord channel so if you guys want to join that, you can find the link down below as well. We hang out there all the time, play lots of games. One of the games that we have been playing in particular has been Minecraft. We've been obsessed with that game. But yes, if you want to come and join our community, we would like that. If you want to follow us on our socials, this is Josh's and this is mine. And until next time, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Oh,